hi guys um welcome back i am glad to be back with you guys this video is about the statement that what you consume will consume you so the first thing i done was found the definition of consumption on google and there was five so they are the action of using up a resource eating and drinking something an amount of something which is used up or ingested the purchase of goods and services by the public the reception of information or entertainment by a mass audience and so the general idea is that you're using up something whether it's food and drink whether it's media so you might be reading a book listening to a book podcast or music watching a movie or a show and then you've got like energy consumption so who you're around who you're talking to what you're talking about etc um what did I want to talk about? Sorry. So, the reason why consumption is important is because it affects our thoughts and our feelings and our thoughts, well, our, it affects our feelings. It affects the way that we feel, whether we know it or not. And then that in turn affects our thoughts. So in terms of manifesting the life that you want, the situations that arise, blah 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 you don't really realize that what you eat and drink and pay attention to actually plays a role so the shows that you watch anything like my favorite show i was gonna say used to be but it kind of still is is bojack horseman but i don't watch it i've watched it like 10 times as in all the seasons but i don't really watch it anymore because i like the show because it's so real like bojack horseman is just like a real ordinary person he gets rich and famous he kind of tells he's really rubbish to his friends um but it's all because he's kind of insecure he, try, he tries to be more positive and stuff but he doesn't really work on it internally he just works on it externally he doesn't want to think about his parents and his upbringing and he never wants to talk about it but um a lot of it is quite not depressing but i don't know how to explain it but what you consume will you consume you so you end up feeling that well maybe it's just me i'm such a i'm the kind of person that if you're upset it will affect me and i'll kind of feel upset too or feel like i shouldn't show that i'm happy because you're upset so when i'm watching a show and the show is just so draining and depressing i feel so drained and depressed in life even though it's just a show I know it's just a show, Ebony. Some people are actually like that. Some people have the ability to dis distance themselves from what they watch and stuff and say, this is just media. And to me, it is just media. And I don't do it on purpose. Like, I don't think, oh my God, we're Jack Horseman during my day. But subconsciously, it just works that way somehow. <laughs> um, so why should we be careful of what we consume? Not only in terms of like what we want our life to be like obviously it affects us but just how we feel a lot of us want to feel better and you won't feel better until you take care of your body so the first thing i'd say is taking care of your body <laughs> be careful what you consume what you're eating has energetic has energy sorry <laughs> what you're eating has energy and a lot of foods are just dead they don't give you any energy they have no benefit and there's no in between it's either it's benefiting you or it's not and that's not saying that you should never eat anything that's not benefiting you that's not saying you should never watch tv shows you shouldn't listen to music you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that that is not what i'm saying at all i will never tell you what you should and shouldn't do all i'm saying is that you need to remain maintain sorry a balance so they always say that too much of anything isn't good and it's true so for me i used to listen to music all day every day i can listen to music all day just because that's how i grew up there was always music playing i love music all types of music but then it gets to a point where it's too much like i have stuff to do and i can concentrate while i'm listening to music but it's never going to be as good as without because i can't hear myself think properly or i tune into the music or just things like that. So what I'm saying is that we should consume everything in moderation. When it comes to like food and drink, it's not 
oh, just eat healthy because you might not be happy that way. I still eat like unhealthy stuff sometimes. I like chocolate. I just don't eat it all the time. I have to be moderate. So your diet and even in life, balance. Balance is so important. So you know that, let's say you work out your balance weekly. So you know that each week you might watch this many episodes or something and then spend your time doing something else that you like, like a hobby. Because watching TV is not a hobby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> watching shows, watching YouTube, listening to music, these are not hobbies. If you're listening to music and you're dancing, then yeah, that's a hobby. If you're like watching shows for research purposes, then yeah, that is a hobby or work. You just have to be careful what you're consuming and what you're doing. Be conscious, not careful. You have to be conscious of what you're doing. Because then you can be careful. You know when it's too much, when it's not enough, etc. I wanted to talk about how like consumption of certain things sometimes can affect people. So, like, you might not agree with this, but it's just the science behind it. Uni parties, obviously, went to Coventry University. If you play drill at the end of a party, like the drill set is the last set of the party, there's some people in the crowd who have built up anger and without realizing, just from like the lyrics, the expressions, it's music. <laughs> Don't get me twisted. You might not think it, but I listen to some drill, mainly O drill, not all the time, but I used to listen to drill. And it will make you angry. I'm telling you, even if you can't relate to what they're saying, you'll get angry about something. Everyone has something to be angry about. So if you play that as, at the last set and then the things finish and everyone's leaving and there's pushing and everyone's kind of tense, they're a bit, their drunk is coming down, they're a bit tired, they just want to get home. A fight is going to break up. Someone is angry and doesn't have that self-control to remove themselves away from the anger and a fight will break out. It's the same reason why when girls, or sometimes boys as well, like when you're sad or when you're going through heartbreak, you listen to music that is heartbreaking because it's comforting for you and you're consuming more of that heartbreak energy and that's why it's harder to move on. You have to listen to like empowering music, whatever empowering music is for you because it'll be individual to you even like with drill don't like i'm not one of those people that says that drill's bad because some people don't listen to drill but they listen to rock and they get angry and then a fight breaks out so it's different for everyone i'm just trying to explain like the psychology between the consumption and consequences essentially um so yeah how does this all relate to confidence so what you consume will consume you <laughs> i know that's like what i'm trying to explain but sometimes you just have to say it again and again and then each time you think about it differently so what i consume will consume me how does that affect my confidence because i have to make sure that i'm maintaining the balance and only consuming in things that i like and that benefit me so i still listen to music i listen to all types of music i will push off on my phone and listen to anything i like dance but i'm not listening to music all the time and i'm also being a bit careful about what music i listen to so i won't listen to like like i said i'll just hit shuffle and listen to a balance of everything i might listen to afro beats and then the next song is drill and then the next song is like i don't know anything i'm not even going to tell you that was in my music playlist right now but um yeah it affects your confidence because it's the energy it's either positive or negative so if it's not affecting you positively then it expect it will affect you negatively and then you just don't really have motivation you don't really want to do anything and going back to confidence is trust in yourself you might accidentally download someone's mistrust in themselves from a show from a book from music from what you're eating because most of what 
they give us is not it doesn't do anything for us literally there's not really much nutrients like i know that like i said i still eat chocolate it doesn't do anything it doesn't benefit me or my energy at all i hope that this video made sense sometimes i feel like i'm just talking and it only makes sense to me but someone will understand it um if you like what i said then like the video if you have something to say good or bad then comment if you feel like someone needs to hear this then share and don't forget to follow the cultured race see you in the next video mm <laughs>